folks, how are we doing? I've got the poop scoop with us today. Um, we're going to try subsoiling with a fast track, so see what happens. Right, so I don't really know what's going to happen here. Um, obviously, we've got the power, but um, we haven't got any weight on, I haven't got any front weight, so I haven't got a deck weight on. Uh, I've not got the greatest tyres, so we'll see what happens anyway. Well, hey, well, yeah. <laughs> we are spinning, boys. All right. Depth control. This is probably, well, this is the hardest bit of the field. I'm actually going in here yet. Um, it's where we cut across all the trailers. So there's a there's a real tough tram line here. So I might just take a few passes just to get in lot. About 1700 revs there. Just swiddle the old depth control. So she's not got the best tyres on. Um, it won't be long before she gets some new ones, but it doesn't help us at the minute. But like I said, this is the this is the toughest bit. Tough old going. Ford speed, three mile an hour. Mind you, that's not accounting for wheel slip, is it? What do you reckon, Poop? Poop says she's nice and comfy. Oh, well, what we'll do... Just come back down that same. Um, we'll come back down that same route and see uh, if we can get right in. Oh, she's in now, boys. It's fairly tough going, I've got to say. Pretty tough going. But the old fast track's coping. Wait till I get some new tyres on her. We'll smash it then. tough here. She is pulling though. Just gonna have to just tweak it there a bit. A lot of traffic comes in and out of this bit here, you see. Oh sweetheart. So this is my trouble, I mean look, I've got cock all in the way of grip really, look. 20% on them tyres. That's where she's struggling. Let's just see how deep we are. Well, I know it's not normally a good idea, but we'll see if we can get it to pop out. You see how hard that ground is, like, it is pretty, 
pretty bloody hard, isn't it? Like a lot of folks said, it's been the wettest dry harvest bad for ages. Come here. Oh, where are we even there? So we are, yeah, about 14 inch. That's where we are, about 14 inches deep. So we're good and deep and it needs it. I mean, um, obviously we've trimmed around here with the edge cutter. You've seen grain trailers, that sort of thing. So we'll persevere whether we have to go half depth and then through again full depth we might just have to do that we'll see how we go but um yeah she is struggling a bit i'll give you that come on poop poop penny penny where is my dog there she is come on poop poop come on she often tries to walk when we're on carrying her. Funny dog she is. 15 now, old pooper scrimmies. Got a little bed, she likes a little bed. There we go. Cough it up. Back over where we've pulled up. Cummins is earning a keep today. So it's pulling not too bad now. Here a bit more go. That's acceptable. We've got probably about normal wheel spin, I think, you know, 10 20 percent wheel spin at the minute. I'm saying that it's just <laughs> just probably go up to about 50. Let's see if she'll take a gear, shall we? Ooh. She knew about it. No, she don't want it, does she? Right, we've done one lap round, didn't we, Poop? Uh, what I'm thinking about doing is... She's not, not too hard on the back, is she? I was just going to drop some pressure out on Do that. Look at that. State alert. The wheels are atrocious. I haven't got any pliers on board, so I ain't going to get any. I'm not going to get any bloody wind there, am I? But they're not hard, hard by any means. Um, it should get easy now, anyway. Oh, right, take note. New ball bars as well. UTV products. Um, LED headlights, uh, UTV work lights there, Thomas LED, top of the cab, front and rear, and uh, I've got some Amazon specials on the back here. So ready for, um, I'm going to do a nice little comparison of all these lights compared to um, standard halogen tractor lights. 
um, standard LED tractor lights, you know, those factory fitted ones. And um, gonna, you know, we're gonna see how good these are, lot. I think they're pretty good. But um, anyway, poop, come on, we better get on. See how what they are. They're cold, so. Yeah, we'll keep plodding on. Should get a bit easier now. But uh, you can see it's, it's a bit hard. I mean, look at these lumps. There's some hard old lumps in there. Big old lumps. So, you know, she is. She's doing all right. Doing all right, considering she's on semi slicks that do well in F1. Hey, come on. Penny! She is. She's not selected for death, she is pretty deaf. Penny! She's old and doddery. Come on! Who? Come on! You are a you are a little dog, ain't you? I do love you. Can't be a little cat dog. Cat butt. There you go, Poop. You in there. So you twiddle that to um, set your depth and that like. That is your upper lift height. That is your speed of drop. And that is your position of draft control. So, simples. This switch here deals with your two-wheel drive. 
full drive diff lock, so you just literally flick around in the diff lock and it's in diff lock. So, um, yeah, quite simple really. Actually, PTO, PTO is great there. Flick it to that position. The PTO is then not great. And flick it to there, it's then on, obviously. So, it's about it, really. Simple but functional. Hey, boo. It's hard going on these ends, isn't it, Pen? So it'd be interesting to know what, uh, what one of the T7s would be doing in here. Or the TW. Um, probably a bit more traction than that weight, obviously, as well, like I say. So, uh, I'll tell you, one thing you don't get with a fast track is power hop. You don't get any power hopping, like, you know, when you're spinning the wheels. Uh, like TW, when I broke it last year on this job, uh, I was busting some grass up, and it was it was F tight, you know, really really tight. And um, remember, you got a real tight spot on it. Basically, um, and it stopped the tractor from moving. The old tractor should start power, yeah, you know, uh, power hopping. Basically, bouncing, getting air. Puts no end of stress on the components because you you put in you know when it lands it puts a huge amount of force through the transmission there. It's something you really want to avoid, but with the uh, bob, you know we're on a real tough bit. I mean, the track is barely moving, but you don't get any power hop. It's a full suspension. It just eliminates all that. Get on a bit better if I had some more traction, but uh, we are getting through it. But uh, yeah, the old suspension takes it all out. I like, on, you know, on long suspended tractors, you can eliminate, uh, let's get this in here a bit more, you can eliminate power hop uh, by having one set of tyres harder than the other set. Obviously, you want, you know, minimum pressure in them to. Uh, give you traction, but enough air in them to take the weight of, you know, the machine on. But uh, very interesting video on YouTube about it, where they hold the pressures front and rear. Uh, they found it. I think the, it worked best. You eliminated power hop nearly altogether if you um, had one axle hard and one axle soft uh, but I think it was best when you had the, the rear axle hard, hard I can't remember off the top of my head but um, you know there's you certainly can reduce it considerably not to say the old fast track is just you not you know she's not you don't get that on a fast track You better come in. Yeah. Well, we are. Well, we've done that field. Um, yeah. Answer to the question. Yes, she can call it. But obviously, she can do with. Yeah. 
bit of weight, new boots on it. Um, but uh, well, we, we, we coped, we certainly coped. We're certainly um, been revisiting this, uh, this job, I should think. Um, it'd be interesting to know how the TW had pulled in comparison. Like, that's something we may have to do, like, you know, see, see which one pulls best.